It's Friday, January 9th, 2015, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeoWeather.com video forecast. It was a snowy, windy, cold overnight, and the morning commute was slow. You can see at the beginning of this radar loop some pretty heavy snow showers pushing through. Those have diminished. There's just some light lake effect snow, mainly in Lake Geauga and Ashtabula counties right now, and that is gradually shifting to the north. Temperatures generally ranging from 10 to the upper teens in Ashtabula, um, that's the warm spot. Wind chills below zero. It's windy. Temperatures are going to hold steady or even fall a little bit today. Taking a look across the entire country now, there's a band of snow along a cold front on the east coast. So if you're flying out there this morning, that might slow you down a little bit. Lake effect snow coming off the Great Lakes locations east of Lake Ontario and the Tug Hill Plateau and also south of Buffalo down to Erie are going to get a lot of lake effect snow. Other than that, the big story is the cold. A large area of temperatures below zero this morning in the upper Midwest. That will come our way for tonight. There's a little bit of wintry precipitation showing up here in the deep south on radar. Not sure how much is hitting the ground in that area, but there could maybe be a little bit of freezing drizzle or sleet in a narrow corridor down here. Nothing too bad, although a little bit noteworthy, and the western United States is quiet this morning. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers yesterday, we did 17 and 3 below zero, well below the averages of 34 and 22. Records for today are 66 and 13 below zero. Through midnight, we saw a little over half an inch of snow at Hopkins. They probably saw more. A general 1 to 4 inches or so fell last night into this morning. We're running well above normal on the monthly and yearly precipitation, and we're setting the sun at 5, 16 p.m. tonight. Today, we're not going to do a lot better in the temperature department. Temperatures holding steady in the low to mid-teens into this afternoon, then falling off by this evening. Wind chills ranging from 0 to 10 below today. Blowing snow will continue. Snow showers becoming confined to the eastern lakeshore and Lake and Ashtabula counties. Tonight, a few lake effect snow showers East, the big story will be the chill. Most of us will get below zero. Wind chills could get as cold as 20 to 25 below tonight. Frostbite could set in in less than a half hour at those temperatures. All right, moving forward now, we have a wind chill advisory out for our entire coverage area due to the wind chills, mainly this afternoon and tonight into the day Saturday. Again, could get as cold as 20 or so degrees below zero for the wind chill tonight which could cause frostbite in half an hour or a little bit less if you're outside and exposed to that without wearing a hat and gloves. Lake effect snow advisory for Lake Geauga, Ashtabula counties, mainly Lake and Ashtabula County, where there could be some lake effect snow and blowing snow into Saturday morning. Could be blowing snow just about anywhere today, although it won't snow, hence just a windshield advisory. Taking a look ahead now on one of our forecast computer models, the lake effect snow is going to be confined to the lakeshore by later this afternoon. There could be a couple of flurries inland. That'll be the extent of it, though. Some pretty heavy lake effect snow is expected into parts of northwestern Pennsylvania and southwestern New York, south of Buffalo. And this could graze parts of Lake and Ashtabula counties tonight and produce for some accumulations. There could be a couple of flurries that move through farther south off of Lake Michigan, but they won't add up to anything. So as we head through the night tonight, you can see that pretty persistent lake effect snow from Erie down into south of Buffalo affecting I-90 and possibly still grazing parts of Lake and Ashtabula counties with very little elsewhere. And then as we head into the day Saturday, the winds turn southwest, which starts pushing the lake effect snow away from northern Ohio. So estimates for additional snowfall in the snow belt through tomorrow morning could be an inch or two in parts of Lake County and into central Ashtabula County, maybe grazing the chimney of Geauga County and maybe a little bit more extreme northeastern Ashtabula County. The best snows will be towards Erie, Pennsylvania and into New York. All right, taking a look ahead through the next week on our big picture forecast charts, big blast of cold for the next couple of days. As we head towards Sunday and Monday, that cold starts to lift out. It'll still be chilly, but our attention will turn to the southwest. There are going to be some ripples of energy in the jet stream moving out of the southwest 
and throwing some Gulf of Mexico moisture northward into the Ohio Valley. That could give us some light snow late Sunday through Monday. Might get warm enough for a little bit of sleet to even mix in in some of our southern counties. So we'll watch that potential for you over the next few days. Later in the week, another little reinforcing shot of cold air for Tuesday. More energy moves out of the west for Wednesday and Thursday, but it really weakens as it moves east. And you can see we're not really as cold by this point as we are now. Still pretty chilly, but not frigid conditions like we're dealing with today and tomorrow and really even into Tuesday of next week. We get another little reinforcing shot of cool air by Thursday. Although, again, it's not as cold as the air we're dealing with now. Looking at the whole continent, we still are expected to have a ridge of high pressure near the west coast of the continent by next Thursday, which will allow a northwesterly flow to continue into the Great Lakes. This high pressure isn't extending all the way up to north of Alaska like it was right now, so we won't be as cold later next week as we are now, but it'll still be chilly. So, seven-day forecast time now. Tomorrow, a few lake effect flurries in the Far East. Temperatures struggling to get back to 10 degrees. Sunday, we warm up a good amount into the mid to upper 20s with a little bit of light snow moving in during the afternoon. Light snow continuing Sunday night into Monday. Maybe a little bit of sleet in our southern counties. This snow could add up to maybe a couple or even a few inches just because it's going to snow for a long time, it looks like, but it will generally be light. Monday night we get cold again up into the single digits with maybe a little bit of lake effect snow. Tuesday we look to dry out and clear out a little bit. High temperatures only in the mid-teens. Another cold night Tuesday night. We'll have to see that 5 degree low I have. That could be a little bit too warm. I showed an increase in clouds for Wednesday and Wednesday night as that next little system moves towards the region. Right now it looks like it'll weaken enough to not give us any snow, but stay tuned just in case that's still six days away. Thursday, partly cloudy and chilly. With NeilWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Check us out again tomorrow.